thinking about you and they're thinking about oh gemini was so good to me gemini was so nice gemini was this da, 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 da. but they're only saying that because they're in a situation where the person that they with and that they really want is treating them fucked up okay so they're getting it back in blood they're getting their karma back guys my name is Nibir Bomani and this is the prophetess okay um this is tarot reads of finds by human design and if you don't know what human design is I suggest you go take a look on google okay if you are returning welcome back if you've been here before I mean hey it's good to see you okay if you're new welcome for coming you know everybody is accepted here um please take tarot and watch it responsibly, okay? I am not God. The cards are not God, okay? Use your discernment. Any messages you get, please discern and, and, and talk to source and see if it's right for you, okay? Um, what else I got for you? Anything you need to know about me is in the description box below, okay? So everything. I do personal readings as well. And um, we're going to get into this reading, Gemini, okay? <clears throat> Where is my water? So what y'all got from the reading? Was it helpful what I all to y'all? Any messages in there for y'all? I'm about to do Aquarius. Because I have a client at 9 o'clock, so I think I can knock Aquarius out in like 30 minutes or 40 minutes. Aquarius, Aquarius usually be straight to the point. Oh, you know what? I might do Aquarius on YouTube. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go live over there. If you guys... What's up, Liz? How you doing? Hey, Aubrey. Hey, Gina. How you doing, hon? What's up, Michael? Scarlett. What's up, guys? Tap the screen when you come in. Hey, Stefan. Excuse me. What's up, Tsunami? Tap the screen when you guys come in, please. What's up, Princess? Hey, Michael. Thank you guys for tapping the screen. Appreciate it. Hey, Pretty. I'm doing a collective reading for Gemini, okay? So if you are a Gemini or you are dealing with a Gemini or you have Gemini in your chart, you might want to stick around for the reading. <laughs> I'm going to wait till a few more people get in here. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Sakina. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Hey, Lisa. What's up, guys? Tap the screen when you come in, please. What's up, Lady Liberty? I'm 
I'm doing a collective reading for Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini or you are a Gemini, you might want to stick around for the reading, okay? Grand Risings. Sub Chris. Miss Shar Thickum. Hey girl. Am I open to working with small hair businesses? Um it's not really my thing, babes, but shoot me a DM, maybe. I guess I ain't got no reason to mingle. I found a superwoman that can leave from a truck in a single mile. Oh, you found a superwoman? Hey, slave room. What's up? Hey, Trinity. How you guys doing? So I'm going to do a collective reading for Gemini. So if you are a Gemini or you are dealing with a Gemini or you have Gemini in your chart and you're just interested, um, you can stick around for the reading. Yeah, <laughs> you said the best hair. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not really a, um, a, a hair influencer, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll just be on here, you know? Um, on here, like I'm not really a hair influencer. I just come on with my looks and that's just what it is, you know? And plus I don't, if you, if you have, if you are selling virgin hair or something like that, I do not wear, um, virgin hair just because of spiritual practices. So there's that too. Like I don't wear, um human hair oh okay yeah I don't wear human hair my love I, I don't it's just it's just my spiritual beliefs Yeah, for sure. But thank you for considering me. I appreciate it. Okay, guys. I'm finna getting to this Gemini reading. Um, so if you're a Gemini, again, for those of you who are just tuning in, if you're a Gemini, um, sun, moon, or rising, this reading could be for you. Okay? So just listen, take what applies to you, and even if you're not a Gemini, this reading could apply to you as well because there are messages in the reading for you, okay? So if it, if it sounds like it's what's going on in your life, it could be for you, all right? Let's get into the reading here. I call on my angels and sisters and spirit guys, and I ask you to cover me in the collective for Gemini, any negative or evil spirits that are trying to hijack this reading um may they be returned back to sender times 10 on a shay may the messages be clear and precise Ashe. tap the screen guys when you come in please Okay, so what do we have going on for Gemini, Spirit? Tell me what we, what we got going on for Gemini. Any Gemini placements, what we got going on for Gemini. Twice. Cut the tag.
Okay, Gemini, so we have the Asete out here for worthiness. We also have Ningame out here for desire. And we have Yasigi out here for live out loud, okay? <clears throat> so off the bat, what I'm getting is like, somebody's not feeling worthy okay somebody's in down in the dumps about themselves they're not feeling like they're good enough okay they're feeling very very like low self-worth okay this could be you or this could be somebody that you're dealing with or this could be somebody from your past okay gemini there is somebody who is like ripping off the mask okay something's being revealed to this person and this person is seeing that they're not as confident as they thought they as they thought they were okay the reason this is is because this person has been going through hell okay there is like a a triggering moment happening for this person like either a dark night of the soul or some sort of like ego death okay so this person has to finally face themselves in the mirror okay um this person is now realizing how um their life force energy is destitute and the reason i say that is because um this person has been using people for their life force energy okay and they're realizing now that they have no one in their life anymore that they finally have to look themselves in the mirror. So this could be you or a friend or uh, an old flame that you're dealing with or that you were dealing with. But I'm getting that this is someone from your past, Gemini. This is someone from your past that is going through some sort of awakening. It's just some, some sort of dark night of the soul, okay? There's a major event that has happened to this person. And this person is finally being faced with themselves. They can no longer run away from who they actually are. And they're seeing how ugly they really have been. Okay? That's what they're saying. Okay? Um, yeah. And so now it's like, they're, it's like they're trying to run away from this. So they're realizing that because because there's nobody else in their corner okay there's nobody else in their corner everybody's left them everybody's tossed them to the side their friends family everyone the person that they were dealing with everyone has left this person okay and the reason they have left this person is because this person is a shitty person okay this person was using people this person's a manipulator all right and now they are faced with Oh, I have to look in the mirror. So this person's looking in the mirror and they don't like what they see. So much so that they're trying to avoid it. So they don't, they're realizing how unworthy they've been feeling. How, how they don't have any real energy of their own. How when there's nobody around to steal energy from and they have to look at themselves in the mirror, they just can't bear it. Okay. So this is a person from your past, Gemini that is like going through the going through the ringer going through hell okay <sighs> then we have the desire card out here okay to me the desire card um when negami represents this person's desire to make a change this person's desire to um be like the sun so to speak or be like the moon okay and i'm getting that this person is heavily in their shadow energy too okay yeah this is what this 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 shadow energy is getting ripped away from them all right they're forced to be looked in the mirror i don't know this person could be 26 27 they could be you know like i said going through a dark night of the soul that's usually around the time that people go through these things right their saturn return or whatever the case may be so they could just finally be ripping the mask off all right they have no one else to lean on then we have live out loud okay live out loud to me this represents your energy 
and gemini you're in a very different space right now in life we got five 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 likes in here so that's confirmation gemini you're in a very different space in your life right now and you're doing really well okay you have just come into your own okay there's some things that you have been dealing with from the past that you've been trying to heal that you've been trying to get through you've been trying to work through and it really has to do with your identity okay so gemini your identity in itself is was was up for grabs before like you didn't really know who you was you didn't really know um how to deal with life you didn't really know how how you wanted to move in life you didn't really have a lot of confidence and a, a lot of it has to do with the fact that i felt like this person from your past was like projecting onto you okay but you were always this bold boisterous beautiful person you just didn't see yourself that way you know what i mean so yeah that, that's what i'm that's what i'm talking about so now you're in this energy of Yasigi where you're you're starting to live out loud. You're starting to feel as though um, you're coming into your own, okay? Tap the screen, guys, for those of you who are in there. You're starting to realize, like, oh, okay, like, I, I actually feel good in my skin. I feel good in where I'm at. I actually feel like, damn, I know who, my, who I am for once, you know? That's how you, that's the energy you're in, Gemini okay so this person that you were dealing with in the past this old flame this ex-lover or whatever the case may be they're in a completely opposite energy than you you're living out loud and they're they're feeling unworthy they don't know who they are they never knew who they was and now they're destitute and they don't have anyone around them and they're they're finally seeing how they don't really think they're shit and they never did <laughs> they never did okay they desire to um, reconnect with you, but they're still in their shadow energy. And honestly, the only reason why they want to reconnect with you is because they feel like you had the best energy, okay? You had the best energy. And the only reason they're really even reminiscing about you and they have the desire to talk to you is because um, not only did you have the best energy, but... There's because nobody else is around them anymore. Everybody has left them. And now they're, like I said, if they're going through a dark night of the soul, everything is being presented to them in a different way, okay? They're, they're, they're going through like a life review. They're seeing everything that they did in the past, every fucked up thing that they did, every, every way they treated you, every way they treated other people, every way that they manipulated everybody else. They're seeing themselves for the ugliness that they are. Okay, because nobody else is around for them to project on, for them to make excuses for their behavior, for them to um, entertain so they don't have to look at themselves. All right. And they're remembering you. People always remember who was there for them when they were in their darkest hour. And now that they're in their darkest hour, they're realizing that you weren't as bad as they thought you were. It's just that they had a fucking issue with themselves. They had these wounds that they needed to heal. They had these issues with themselves. They had these mother wounds. They had a lot of things going on in their energy. And so they treated you bad as a result of this. Okay? Thank you for tapping the screen. So now they desire to talk to you. But, uh, girl... Or God, you're too busy living out loud. You're too busy tapped into your divine feminine or divine masculine energy. You're too busy living la vida loca. You're too busy living it up, like being your true authentic self. Finally healing, finally walking in your purpose. Like you're too busy worried about your goddamn self and your goddamn blessing. And this person, mm -mm, they don't even got a pot to piss in, okay? yeah so let's get into the reading all right that was just the overview <laughs> so this reading is for gemini for those of you who 
are just tuning in please tap the screen okay spirit what do we have for gemini what messages do we have for gemini spirit gratitude what messages do we have for gemini Let's see what messages we have for Gemini. <sighs> Gemini, this person's down bad. They're missing you. But guess what? They ain't changed not one bit. They ain't got their life together yet. Okay? They're just mad because somebody left them. They could have been in a relationship recently where they projected this negative nasty shadow behavior onto this person and this person left their ass but the only difference now is that they used to act like they didn't have no feelings before like they they could they, like they was invisible but they met a person that they actually really liked like that like really really was in love with and this person shitted on them so basically they did this person did to them what they did to you and now they're getting a taste of their own medicine and this person left them and everybody else left them and now they're like what is life oh my god i'm a I, i'm unworthy I, first of all this person is is crazy okay what's what's up yeah 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 this person is absolutely ridiculous okay Excuse me. What is this? Okay, so the present position of this is the temperance card. The temperance card is okay, guys see it. The temperance card just represents like change and adaptation. Um, but like in the reverse, it's like volatile energy. Things just not going the way someone planned, okay? Um, arguments, okay? Just danger, conflict, okay, in the reverse. So things, so, so, so things could be happening for this person, all right, with this temperance card here. But I'm also getting that you're in the energy of the temperance. Like, you're changing as well. Like, like I said before, the energy between you and this person, you're in a completely different energy than them. So both of you guys are changing at the same time. And you're both going through, a, 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 like, like, an awakening, so to speak. But this person's awakening is, like... They're finally, they're seeing themselves for the shitty person that they've always been. And you're in the energy of, like, adaptability and flexibility and change, okay? Um, and you're just trying to find balance. But you found that balance. You found that little sweet spot where you can be yourself. You can tap into your authentic energy. Maybe your finances are good. Everything's going good. Your love life is good. Like you're finally in a sweet spot in your life. And although it may have been a struggle for you to um, get to this point in your journey, um, you, you're settling into your own little groove of being content with where you are and content with this new version of you and content with yourself because things are just starting to be easy. You know what I mean? But this person on the other end, they're facing adversity, okay? They're facing adversity. They're dealing with all kinds of bullshit. They're, they're dealing with debt. They're dealing with old problems coming back to haunt them. They're dealing with financially destitution. They're dealing with 
a, a breakup, but they're also dealing. I'm also, uh, I'm also getting that somebody is going to jail. Like, it's like confinement. Okay, I'm feeling like this person is walking around their apartment, just like, what do, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna? This person is stressed. Okay, this person is stressed the fuck out. Also, this person could be pregnant, okay? Pregnant by a person that doesn't want them anymore. Because to me, the temperance, even though it represents change and stuff like that, it also represents fertility. So I see you as a very fertile person, but this person is like fertile as well, but not in the way of like gaining abundance, but in the way of like I'm seeing a child like here, okay? So even if it's not a physical child, it could be a business that they have been trying to get into some sort of financial endeavor that is failing, okay? Everything in this person's life is blowing up at this moment, but you've been on the right track, all right? You've been doing the things that you need to do. You've probably been getting new ideas, new creative ideas. You've probably been wanting to do a project, Gemini, um, that you've been working on. You've been just working on being your most authentic self. And it's taking you a while to get here, but you feel good about where you're at, okay? This person, on the other hand, is not doing great, okay? The current influences is the Two of Cups, okay? So we have the Two of Cups, right? The Two of Cups can represent like a love affair or like a relationship being healed or two people coming together, okay? But in the reverse, it can represent um, like a divorce or a separation, like things just going bad, all right? Yeah, this person, like, if you're in a relationship with a two of cups, like, somebody who's just, who's just not for you in the reverse, okay? But, Gemini, this person right now, I, I'm seeing that they thought that this person was for them, okay? This, this is a, this is a karmic situation, Gemini, where you left this person, I don't know, anywhere from six months to a year ago, to two years, I'm even hearing three years, Okay, you left this person a while ago because they were a shitty person to you. This person was doing all kinds of stuff. Cheating, um, talking bad to you, um, cursing you, doing all kinds of things, all right? But now this person is feeling what they did to you through their situation, all right? I guess they thought they would get away with this and they thought that, oh, I would never, this would never happen to me. But this person has a lot of karmic debt that they need to pay back. All right, Gemini? This person is not, like, doing well at all, okay? Because they did you dirty and you left them. Hey, Netta, what's up? Because you, because this, because you left this person six months to two years or three years ago, that's what I'm hearing. Now this person they're going through this dark night of the soul and they're realizing that you was like the best individual that they ever dealt with okay and the only reason they're realizing that is because now they're in a relationship they're in a two of cups situation where they're not their person that they think that they were so in love with was not their person okay and this person is putting them through what would what they put you through okay this is a terrible situation, honestly. This person don't want them. This person don't want them. I'm also getting that this person thinks that they are na they be nagging them. This they chose this person purely out of lust, out of looks, okay? And now they're thinking about you and they're thinking about, oh, Gemini was so good to me. Gemini was so nice. Gemini was this, da 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 da. da. But they're only saying that because they're in a situation where the person that they with and that they really want is treating them fucked up. Okay? So they getting it back in blood. They getting their karma back real hard. Okay? You on the other hand, Gemini, like I said, you're in a mode in which you're finally starting to do I was with an Aquarius, but left him for a Sagittarius. Okay, copy. Gemini, you're in a mode in which you are starting to feel 
like you're on top of the world okay and your relationship could be flourishing totally opposite of this past person this past person that treated you terrible okay you want to leave the Sagittarius soon? I would want to leave a Sagittarius soon. Wouldn't even go there. <laughs> but yeah, like this this is not this is this person's sick in this situation. This person that you left. This is this person's sick, okay? And the reason they're sick is because the person that they're dealing with is a shitty person. Like they thought this they went after this person solely for looks. And when they got with this person, they realized that this person wasn't who they pretended to be. So kind of like when you met them back in the day and they pretended to be somebody, but they was really a fucking demon and they was doing everything in the world to you and behind your back. Okay, and now they're reaping that right now. All right, this person I see this person with their hands over their eyes, they 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 crying in the bathtub. This person's sick right now. Okay, Gemini, yeah, they're just mad. They're mad that they picked the wrong person. Fuck them, it is what it is. We also got the King of Cups out here. Okay, what's up, King? We also got the King of Cups out here, okay? The King of Cups represents um, somebody who's emotionally balanced, okay? Somebody who gives wise advice. Somebody who's, you know, on top of their game. But in the reverse, the King of Cups can represent somebody who is just like a difficult person who doesn't really make the right decisions, okay? Yeah. Somebody who's an asshole, basically. All right? So... <laughs> this person thought that this person thought that this was going to be their forever person they were set on the fact that they thought this what's up gemini this person thought that um they were going to be their soulmate so so your ex basically was on some shit where they met somebody and now they're dealing with the bullshit okay they thought that their person was going to be their king of cups okay or their queen of cups where they was like, oh my god they're gonna treat me nice that's gonna be good to me this is my person and then fucking gemini this person gets gets their fucking wool pulled up from under their legs and this person starts flipping on them okay and they're like, oh my god, this is not my king of cups. This is not my high priestess. This is not my emperor. No, this person's a demon just like you, okay? Not you, but them, all right? So yeah, this person from your past, they was a demon to you. And now they're dealing with a demon. A demon that's bigger than them. And they sitting there thinking about you, Gemini, like... I wish I had Gemini back. Gemini is gone. <laughs> Gemini is off to the next. The Gemini is with their King of Cups, their Queen of Cups. Okay, all right. Gemini is headed to the bank. Gemini is getting money. Okay. Gemini's life is starting to feel better for them. Okay. Yeah, this person's this person's not 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 somebody you want to be dealing with anyway. So in the past, we have this five, this five of energy, this uh, five of pentacles energy. Okay, so this person could be out in the cold, like I said. Remember, in the beginning, we were talking about how um, this person's not doing well. Okay, the five of pentacles represents worry, stress, and somebody just in a disaster, somebody at rock bottom. And right now, Gemini, the person that you were dealing with that you left, is at rock bottom. Okay, and all they can do is think about what can i do they're they're really tripping out like everybody has left them their 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 friends their family their 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 lover that they thought was the king of cups left their ass all right because they realize how really flawed and fucked up that they was okay <clears throat> this person's having to look themselves in the face and they don't like what they see you know what it kind of reminds me of what's up libra mr fab um you know what this person remind me of your ex reminds me of um christian what is it? not christian what is it dorian dorian gray i think it is dorian gray and if you guys know that story he was like a narcissist and he used to look so beautiful on the outside and everything and be with all the girls and da 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 da, da. and then 
you know, every single time he was with somebody and he did some foul ass shit, it would end up etched on his soul. And then he would be looking cute on the outside. And then when he go in his room and he look in that mirror, he look like a, a crazy demon because he have all these things on him that he's done to people. Gemini, this is your ex. Your, your ex, your ex looks like this. <laughs> Is going through a dark night of the soul looking like Zorian Gray. And they're like, holy shit. This whole time I thought I was cute. This whole time I thought I was a good person. This whole how you how you thought you was a good person. It was the delusion that they was in. Alright. And now because they don't have nobody else by their side. Now that they don't have nobody else by their side, they're looking in the mirror and the mirror is showing them the truth. Okay. And the truth is is that they have so much darkness etched on their soul because they have so much karmic debt that they have to repay because they were a tyrant a dictator a evil being to you not only you gemini but 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 other men and women before you and and, and their friends and their family they were conniving they were manipulative they was like a destroyer energy Okay, and this is the reason you left this person in the first place because they couldn't get it together, and now they're dealing with somebody who's a bigger demon than them. All right, and they're in the dark now. This person done left them, but left them destitute. I'm getting that this person was stealing their pentacles. Okay, this this person was trying to live off them, and they was letting them because they was so in love. They thought this person was the one. But it really was the fact that, Gemini, this person went after this person for the wrong reasons. They went after them for their looks. They went after them for financial gain. They went after them for the materialism, the outside appearance, for lust. Okay? And now they're realizing, oh, I really love this person, but this person don't love me back. No, this person is your karma for what you did to Gemini. You know what I mean? This person is your fucking karma. That's why. So this person done, done like stole things from them and now they just outside. And I'm getting that this person's about to lose everything. They're in a disaster. This five, pinnacle, five of pentacles energy is hitting them hard. They're worried about home. They're worried about their finances. They're worried about support. They're worried about friends and family. They're worried about everything. And they're just in the dirt. And so they ain't got nothing but time to think. Like, that is time. nothing but time to think about what they did to everybody. Okay? Yeah, they out in the cold right now. They ain't got nothing but time and opportunity to think about their actions. Okay? <sighs> That's crazy. But anyways, this person, this is what they get. This was, This is exactly what they get. Okay, they should never treated people fucked up. This person was doing spell work. This person was doing all kinds of stuff. They was in the dark arts. They was doing all kinds of stuff. They was wishing death on people. They was doing all kinds of shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, babe. I'll see you later. But yeah. I can't get over how this person treated you, though. This person treated the wrong person like this. You really had, a, you know, you really would have been good to this person, but this person didn't deserve you. They were like a fucked up individual, okay? So now we have the recent past events here, okay? For the Ace of Wands. King says, why? Um, because people are malicious people and they're fucked up. And this person, they had a lot of demons on them, like from their past that they refused to heal. So because they were hurt by the things that happened to them in their life, um, they project onto other people. They steal other people's energy. They, they try to be manipulative and connive into people because people hurt them. So it's like that statement, hurt people, hurt people. And this, pe this person took that to the asshole, okay? They was like, hey, yeah, people hurt me. I'm going to hurt everybody I meet. And that's, that's what this person did to you, Gemini. 
Okay, this is why people do it. People don't need, really need a solid why to be. They just they just don't ever want to get hurt again themselves. So they become the judge, jury, and executioner. And that's what this person became. They thought they was God. They thought they could play with people's feelings. They thought they could play with your feelings. They thought they could play with your time. They thought they could play with your energy. They thought they could do whatever they wanted. Until karma came a-knocking. In the form of somebody that they really like somebody that they with right now somebody that's really giving them a fucking headache and a half a run for their money somebody that they crying over that they dealing with that they can't get over that's treating them fucked up yeah <laughs> that's, what, that's what's going on here another hurt person is hurting them but worse worse okay the thing is, though, is that the Gemini thought this, 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 this person that you were dealing with before Gemini thought that this, this karmic person that they're with now it was their person, and so they're kind of at a disadvantage because they didn't have their guard up this time. That's why this person like got them, you know, got a wool over their eyes. So yeah, we got the Ace of Wands here, and the Ace of Wands just represents. Um, uh, like just a good time to be prosperous stand in your power like a high point but in the reverse it represents feelings of exhaustion low energy so Gemini have you been feeling like low energy or lethargic energy this is not your energy this is this person energy this person is feeling like, like an ace of wands in reverse they're feeling like things are just slipping away from them every you know how they talk about how um when one thing go bad it's like a series of bad events just happen right after one and one after another this person is experiencing like deaths and i'm not talking about physical deaths it could be physical deaths but i'm talking about like a death to everything like a monopoly effect like this person is losing money they're losing their home their 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 heart is broken um they're just dealing with a lot. They're also dealing with health issues, stress, all kinds of stuff. And it's because they this karmic is really doing a number on them or has done a number on them. And so, but the thing is, is that it's making this person feel, it's making this person feel everything they did to everything, everyone before that are no longer in their life. Everybody that's was in their lives to help them that they kicked to the side that they treated bad they're literally feeling it okay yeah there's a loss of like material success yeah and this person also feels burdened by decisions like they don't know what they're gonna do next like this person's all over the place their mind is in a tizzy like they're, they're, they're thinking about, how am I going to get this money? How am I going to get out this house? How am I going to do this? What am I going to do? That's what, this person is really like having to think about so many things because their life is falling apart, okay? It's like once they met this person and they're with now, their life just started spiraling, going downhill. Like, Also, I'm getting Gemini that this person that they're with now is like a, I want to say serial cheater. <laughs> Like, they do a lot of things behind the scenes when it comes to, like, being with other people. And so, you could have experienced this from this person, too. And now they're feeling it the same way from the person that they're with. Okay? Yeah. This is that energy. So, then we have the Empress card out here. And the Empress card... The Empress card represents you. Okay, Gemini. So, you could be in this empress energy i mean you could be a male or a female but you're in this empress energy in gemini and you're like i said before you're standing in your power you're not you and this person are on opposite ends of the spectrum okay and this person's feeling like a you know a fucking page of cups or some shit like that and you're in your empress energy on your high horse sitting proud sitting tall you've healed from everything that this person has done to you you've healed your shadows you you're working on yourself your life is going good you probably receiving financial abundance 
things are just going good for you and if they're not going good right now they're about to start going good for you okay gemini you have a lot of personal growth that you've been doing you've been reflecting on your decisions and your past and the things that um the person who you want to be okay and you've been actively working towards that you could have been working on your health um working on your finances um, and also, Gemini, you could be growing something, like growing a business, growing a baby. And if you are growing a baby, congratulations. Um, things are just looking up for you, Gemini. Things are just really looking up for you. And this person can feel that your energy is in high vibes and they want that back guess what it's too motherfucking late okay we don't go backwards all right then we have um what else we got out here <laughs> i just talked about the page right i just talked about that we have the page of pentacles for the present attitude okay so the page of pentacles represents someone who is just likes like a trustworthy person okay someone who is just intelligent educated but in the reverse um the page of pentacles can represent a person that um is like careless with their with life okay and so to me you represent the page of pentacles here in this reading and right now you're just you're just being more thoughtful about the decisions that you make. Like, you could have been very reckless in the past, Gemini, where you kind of just did things to do them, to have fun, to date people, to talk to people. Or you, you were reckless with your finances, you were reckless with your time, you were reckless with your energy. And this was what got you in, in the situation that you were in before with this person. Okay, but now you're in this page of pentacles energy in the upright where you're being more strategic about your decisions and you're being more sound about who you want to be. Okay, so yeah, you could be reading. I'm seeing a Gemini that's reading, I'm seeing a Gemini that's um, healing, going to therapy. Um, I've seen a Gemini that's in, in, in the gym, I'm seeing a Gemini that is just taking care of themselves like all around you're just trying to be a better person like you're never trying to go back to this energy that you were in before okay so this it's your present attitude all right mm. but then we got the king of wands out here all right the king of wands okay so the king of wands represents someone who is just um an innovative man someone who's charming Okay. <laughs> that what I'm getting right now in the spirit is that this person that they're dealing with is a king of wands as well. In the reverse though, this person is very controlling. So the person that you're the person that you were with before. Yes, it's a collective reading, hun. The person that you were with before, right? They're with their new person or their new person just left them, right? So that karmic that that per, your ex that karmic that your ex was with is very controlling. Okay, this person is trying to control them. They kind of control every move they make. They're a closed-minded individual. They create problems where there are none. This person is highly narcissistic. Okay, and so your ex is really going through it with this individual, and that's really not your concern. Okay, but I'm just letting you know what's happening. All right. They're literally going through everything that they put you through. Karma season. It's time to get to reaping, all right? And this person is reaping everything they sold. Everything they did to you is coming back around tenfold, okay? So um, if you've been thinking about when is this person going to get their karma? When is this person going to pay for the things that they did to me? They're paying right now, okay? They're paying right now. This person thought that... This person thought that the current person they with was their person, as I said before. But this person's nothing like that. They presented to be some sort of, like, holier-than-thou person. A person who had decent morals. Someone who was really caring about them. 
but they flipped it on them and also too gemini this person that you were with before used this person for sex okay and they got addicted to the sex they got addicted to the to the lust factor of it and then it, and then they took it as love and so they fell in love with this fucking demon okay this person is rigid they're not even a they don't even like affection okay <laughs> i'm getting too that this person be like nagging them like they hate when they hate when your ex nags them they hate when they hate when this person is all up on them like this person could be a sagittarius this person could be like a, um a scorpio this person could be an aries that this person is dealing with but this person don't want to be bothered for real they're annoyed by them they're annoyed by this person that you were with okay so they treat them bad um but <laughs> that is so funny so we have the king of wands out here and then we have the king of swords right king of swords so yeah mm -hmm. this person <laughs> the king of the king of swords in reverse is a dangerous person all right they're very underhanded they're very manipulative they're very sadistic they enjoy causing suffering to other people and that's what this person that they're with is doing causing suffering to them so gemini this ex person that you was with that treated you that treated you terrible that you left they're they're now dealing with somebody who's worse than them who's worse than them like worse like very underhanded like a disgusting individual cruel self-centered plots against you a manipulative person yeah this person's not having a good time they're not having a good go with this person they got got okay they thought they could do better and now they with this person this person who's worse than anybody that they could ever deal with and it's because it's time to reap it's reaping season all right reap for what they did to you okay and then the most likely outcome is the queen of swords okay so the queen the queen of swords is you okay you're you're an emotionally balanced individual right now okay the king of the queen of swords in the upright is someone who is just finding the sweet spots in life okay so again you could be emotionally balanced right now things are just going good they're just going in your favor okay so you guys are going to do two different things this person's not doing well okay gemini if this person tries to contact you or anything like that please do not listen to them don't talk back to them it ain't nothing to talk about gemini please because this person only wants to come back into your life because they're losing everything this person could be heavily thinking about you so if you find yourself thinking about this person out of nowhere and you haven't spoken to them in years or months or whatever it's because this person is realizing that you were the best thing that ever happened to them and a lot of things you you said to them was true and um you know they should have they should have been nicer to you they should have been a decent person to you but instead they decided to act like a fucking tyrant and now they're living out the same fate that they wished upon you. All right. All right. What else do we have out here for Gemini? So Gemini collective reading. But if you're in not a Gemini, the messages could still apply if you hear something that sounds like it's for you. Okay. Use your discernment. Or if you're dealing with a Gemini as well. Tap the screen for me, guys, please.
don't really want these cards out here. I'm just gonna be honest. Hey guys, tap the screen. For those of you who are just tuning in, tap the screen. We're doing a collective reading for Gemini. Okay. Okay, Gemini, let's see what we got out here for you. So, Spirit, what do we have out here for Gemini? What does this person want from Gemini? Why are they in Gemini's reading? Okay, so Gemini, listen, we got expectation out here. So what I'm dealing with is you could be expecting a blessing to come in, okay, a Gemini. There could be something that you're waiting on, something that you're expecting, something that you're in expectation for. Okay, so I'm getting that maybe you signed up for a new apartment and you're you're waiting on a decision or maybe you, you applied for a loan and you're waiting on a decision or but it's something good it's something good that's trying to come to pass okay representing that we have a disturbance okay here all right you see how she's possessed at the top what's up myra hey blessing in disguise you see how she has a disturbance at the top all right so there is somebody in your energy who is trying to disturb this process by using some sort of witchcraft or some sort of spell work okay so somebody's trying to get in the way of your blessings all right hey girl somebody's trying to get in the way of your blessings gemini so again i really do feel like it's this ex person that you used to deal with okay that's thinking about you heavily right now they are trying to project whatever the fuck they got going on onto you okay so this person could be a psychic or this person could be a seer or this person could delve in some sort of divination but it's like they can sense that you're doing better than them wow that's crazy my ex-best friend is a gemini and i cut her up this could be about her you flip the roles as they reverse you know the person you're dealing with could be a gemini the person you left could be a gemini you know so um take take the messages as they apply my love there's there's just somebody here from your past this ex that you was with or this ex best friend or whoever um that just want to see you doing bad they just want you to be doing bad like they don't want you to be in this good energy this person was highly jealous of you even when they was around you okay gemini so if you were in a romantic relationship with the, this person it's almost like they were competing with you okay they were competing with you it was something about you since you was in that high priestess empress energy you have a natural light about yourself you have a natural genesis qua about yourself and this person wanted to be around you because of this okay so you could have also even experienced when you was with this person like some sub some some freaking spell work or you could have like things could have been going back like listen to me because because the messages are coming in very fast when you was with this person you could have experienced like what you may have deemed to be supernatural events 
or supernatural feelings or supernatural emotions. So maybe when you was around this person, you could have noticed that your energy was low. You could have noticed that every time you sp spent time with this person, that you felt energetically drained. You could have noticed that you were losing things um, when you were around this person or or you, every time you engaged or shared energy with them, that either you was getting sick or your job was getting stopped or your finances was getting stopped or something like that. Or you just noticed that you wasn't on the same type of wave that you was on when you wasn't around this person. Yes, very sneaky, okay? This person is plotting in the background because they're in a situation where they hate their lives. They hate their lives. Nothing's going good for them. They're dealing with a person that is doing them dirty, okay? And everything in their life is just going bad. And so they want it to happen to you. So they could be doing some sort of spell work. This could be in their mind or they could be doing some sort of seance or something. But I'm getting someone who is into the dark arts, okay? Someone who's into the dark arts and someone who um, just is wishing bad on you or practicing magic against you. So if you feel like lethargic again because that was out here earlier if you feel lethargic or you have been feeling like you don't want to get up and you don't want to do certain things that you normally do or you're feeling tired or you're feeling unease or at unrest this is this person in your energy so gemini i would cleanse my energy okay i would cleanse my energy you know this could be you or this person flip the rules as they reverse okay um, I would cleanse my energy. I would do whatever is necessary to get this person out of my energy because this person is trying to stop your bag. They're trying to stop what's coming in for you. They're trying to stop because you had an influx of blessings coming in because you've been on the right track lately. You've been getting your spiritual house in order. You've been getting your health in order. You've been getting your life in order. You've been getting your, your minds in order. Again, like I said earlier, you could have you can't have been doing shadow work or you could be going to therapy or you could be changing your diet or you could be trying to dress yourself up more, like be more self-aware of self-care, mental health. You know what I mean? You're doing the best things for yourself at this time because you're feeling like you're going into a season where um, the new you and you want to be a different person and you just want to let things go and you don't want to have anything in your life that doesn't serve you anymore, you know? And this person is trying to interfere with this disturbance car. Yeah, Maya, you got to get you, you get that energy away from you. I know you I know you um, block that person. That's the first thing you might need to do a cord cutting. Definitely see her. I had to block her. My spirit team told me she was jealous and competitive. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. Somebody don't want, want me to say this. You might be needing to do a cord cutting. Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. You might be needing to do a cord cutting. I cleanse into the spiritual bath. Good. <coughs> Sometimes when I'm overworking my throat chakra, these energies, they don't be wanting these messages to come out, especially when you start speaking truth. What's a cord cutting? Okay, so a cord cutting is like a, a ceremony you do when you cut the tie from your energy to from theirs. Okay, so you know you can look it up on YouTube or on the internet. There's there's no really there's no really um way you can really fuck it up. You just have to have clean intentions or whatever the case may be. Um, but basically you're just whatever energy they try to steal from you or they try to um, project onto you hey ghost girl what whatever energy they try to steal from you or whatever they took without your knowledge will be cut with the cord so you know you just got to get two candles one that represents you one that represents the other person and look that up can we call our energy back you can absolutely do that but 
Um, but sometimes that's not always as potent. <coughs> to me, the clearest way to cut the intentions is the cord cutting, especially if you have a lot of history with this person. But absolutely, you can call your energy back. Ghost girl, I do have stuff for energy signs. Um, all my readings are in the link in the bio. Right now, I'm just doing Gemini. What color? Doesn't matter. Just get two different ones. But you want to be white. So you can get any other color for them. But you want to be white, in my opinion. Myra Morgan. I mean, the, if, if anything here in the in the reading applies to you, Gemini, Myra, then, you know, take the message. But if, if it doesn't, because this is just a collective. So if it applies, you know, take it. But right now, I'm not really doing specifics. Okay, I'm just doing a Gemini collective reading. But yeah, right now Gemini is experiencing... I was just talking about how Gemini is waiting for money. They're waiting for something to come in, like a blessing is coming in to them. I was just talking about that, Myra. And there's, there's energies trying to block it, okay? Energies either from the past or somebody that you're dealing with that you know is not good for you. Okay. So yeah, this person's mad. They mad, they jealous, they upset. And they see like they can see that you <coughs> that you um that you're doing good at this time. So yeah. We got the thief out here. I just said that, Myra. You could be waiting on a settlement. You could be waiting on a grant. You could be waiting on a, a apartment, a house to come through. Yeah, it's going to come through real soon, okay? Anything that you got going on around you with, um, like, that's stealing energy from you, cleanse your energy, Myra. Cleanse your energy. Watch who you have around you if you've been feeling funny about anybody lately or you've been feeling some sort of way, or you've been feeling like, 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 not like yourself, like you've been overthinking a lot. This energy is from outside. <coughs> Give me a second, y'all, because somebody's really fucking with my energy right now. <coughs> Ooh. And you, it's crazy because we got fucking right at the bottom of the deck witchcraft all right <clears throat> i'm also just getting over a cold so y'all gotta forgive me Ricola. Okay. So we so we got the thief energy out here, right? Like I said, somebody trying to steal your blessings. See? Oh yeah, let's talk about that, Maya. <clears throat> let's talk about that. Because um there a lot of times when people will be getting sick too around the time in which they're dealing with people it's not it's like a spiritual flu and so sometimes um it's not really a cold per se but sometimes it's just somebody fucking around in your energy so again when you do this cord cutting and call your energy back or you're clearing you should be able to start feeling better but it definitely has to do with this person to be honest this person's like trying to, they're pulling on your energy. They're pulling on your energy too much. Yeah, yeah, that sounds, that sounds very 
um, like an energetic interference, especially with the ears popping. Somebody's talking about you a lot as well. So we have this thief out here. This thief tried to, you got the flu right now. That's what I'm talking about, Myra. Please cleanse your energy, okay? Y'all got to think about who, who's been around you, who's been in your house, what they've been touching on, what they, this, these people are, these, this person or these people, they, they are talking a lot about what you did or what, what they expected from you. Okay. This person was just highly jealous and now they want to steal your energy. They want to steal your energy. They want to steal your blessings. Nobody can ever steal your blessings, but they can delay you if you don't know who you are. Um, they just want what you have, okay? They don't want you to be able to be in a good, right frame of mind to be able to create or do the stuff that you need to do. So, Gemini, like I said earlier, you could be doing some sort of creative endeavor and you really waiting for the shit to pop off. This person wants you to be able to be sick or some sort of hurt or down or depressed so that you don't have to, so that you don't have, you don't have the energy to do what it is that you need to do or that you've been planning on doing. All right. So you got to call your energy back. Can you keep people from taking your energy in the first place? Like before? Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. Of course you can. <clears throat> you got to know yourself though you got to know yourself through and through you got to be strong and when i say that i don't mean that lightly i mean that you got to be boss the fuck up and when i say that i'm talking about know yourself through and through to the point where you know at any little minor minute thing that is not you that's somebody else. You have to know your energy, like the back of your hands. You have to. You got to know you. You got to know your triggers. You got to know what, 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 what sets you off. You got to know when the enemy is playing on you. You got to know when, there are, when you're overindulging in sweets, when you're overindulging in food, when you're, when you're overspending, when you all of a sudden find yourself sleeping too much, when you all of a sudden find yourself feeling way too tired. A lot of times people disregard these things and they brush them off as human occurrences but naturally when 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 you in in high spirits and in good energy and your your energy is cool you're not feeling none of these things and you're not understanding that these are energy disturbances and so sometimes it's not just about oh i'm observing myself and i'm catching a cold or i'm observing myself and someone's you know around me and I, all of a sudden my eyes start twitching like everybody don't pay attention to this stuff this stuff is is, is energetic regardless of of what the co the core of it is it's energetic and you have to be one of those people who know yourself through and through to the point where you're catching every little thing and you know it's not you you gotta use your discernment. You gotta you gotta build on your intuition. You gotta heal those triggers because certain things you'll get triggered by and you won't even know that you've been walking around for a week with an attitude. And the reason you've been walking around for a week with an attitude is because two weeks ago, a week ago, you was at a basketball game and you were sitting next to some shysty person and they was giving off bad vibes and you wasn't paying attention and you sucked up their energy and you've been carrying it around for a week. You know what I mean? <coughs> That's what I'm talking about. It'd be shit like that. You could be on a train. A person could be staring at you. And, and all of a sudden, you get off the train and, and you, you lose your wallet. Or you trip. Or some shit. And you just... Oh man, it just happened. That was regular. That was that was just a normal occurrence, whatever. But you're not even realizing that that person on the train was giving you the evil eye, and for the next week, you losing shit. Like you carrying around other people's energy. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so the best way to combat that is clear your energy every day. Clean your clean when you take a shower at night, Tom. Everybody, I recommend this to my clients too. 
everybody should be clearing their energy at nighttime. At night or during the day, whatever you prefer. But every day you should be calling your energy back from every person, place, or thing who has tried to steal your energy with or without your knowledge. You should be washing your body as you're washing your body. In the morning or night, you should be saying, release, I release any energetic cords that have been sent and connected to me with or without my knowledge and I release them back to the source. And I call my energy back from every person, place, or thing who's trying to steal it with or without my knowledge. You should be doing this every single day. This is going to lessen, also lessen your um, your energetic disturbances. Trust me. It will lessen your energetic disturbances until you get to that point where you're so in tune with yourself that you catch it at the slightest moment. And so if you do this, you got to do these rituals. These are rituals. These are self-love rituals, in my opinion. You got to do these things so that... It's not just about having boundaries with people on the outside, but you got to have energetic boundaries as well. And your, your, spiritual, your spiritual hygiene is just as important as your personal physical hygiene. And this is a part of it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, every single day, faithfully, just like you wash your hair every two weeks, every week, faithfully every day every day every day because we come across so many damn people in a day especially if you you work at a job or you live in a big city it's so many people it's stuff on tv it's stuff on tiktok it's stuff on fucking everywhere that you picking up on by the end of the day your emotional um your emotional battery pack is filled with other people's shit and you don't even realize that the amount of work that you did at work is not the reason that you're this tired. It's the amount of work that you did at work on top of the fact that you sucked up 20 people's energy when you was on the train. That you sucked up 20 people's energy when you was waiting in line at Starbucks. Like, your energetic field was open and they was tethering to you. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Gratitude, Brooklyn. Appreciate you. For sure, for sure. <clears throat> but yeah, Gemini, we have this indulgence out here as well. Alright? So this person was overindulging in gossip. Overindulging with gossip about you. Okay, so you could have... This could have been like three people. Like... If this is your per your your ex person, they could have been talking to their friends and family, or they could have been having other friends join in on like a hate train towards you. Okay, they get satisfaction and joy from talking bad about you. All right, so yeah, this person tried to steal from you. They also tried to steal from you back then too. They didn't want you to have nothing. Okay, this person could have did like some sort of like they tried to put a leash on you like an energetic leash okay yeah that's what i'm getting too i'm also getting that they wanted you to be blind they wanted you to be blind to the fact that they were doing things behind your back okay so i'm almost seeing too that they could have hid your messages or I'm, I'm seeing emails too, like somebody emailing or texting a person back and forth talking about you. This person's a trip. Also, this person's being stolen from right now. So the, the person that they're dealing with um, is stealing their energy. They're getting stolen from right now. Okay. And they don't even see it coming. Or they do see it coming. And that's why they're in this despair energy. Okay? Gemini. This person's in despair. They're missing you. They're missing what they had with you. Okay? And the reason that is is because they're... This person is not even mad because you gone. They mad because they don't have access to your energy anymore. They're mad because you was the best friend they ever had. Because you was the best lover they ever had. Because you was the best sister they ever had. Whatever your situation is. That's when they're mad. But they're only mad because everything is going bad for them. Okay? They're just mad because they don't have your energy no more. 
it's not about really loving you it's about they can't use you anymore so now they're in the state the spirit also this person that they're with gemini like i said is stealing their energy stealing their their tangible goods stealing their money stealing their time stealing from their womb stealing their fertile their fertility okay they're just outside and if, if they haven't if they're not there yet they, they are this is about to be them they're in despair they're losing everything they're losing their friends they're losing their family they're losing their job they're losing their house they're losing their car they're losing their keys they're losing their minds you know meanwhile this is you over here in a daydream just thinking about how good your life is going to be and how good your life is going and how you're realizing that you have come so far in life and you you're finally at a place of peace okay or you will be you have optimism for the future okay but i'm also getting that this person is thinking about you like back to the past so they they could just be sitting there daydreaming about shit that y'all did about y'all relationship about who y'all who y'all was to each other when y'all was in connection so yeah they're in this despair energy all they can do is sit and think about oh i wonder what gemini's doing i wonder i wonder what's going on i miss them i miss my friend i miss my old lover guess what you don't miss them bitch because it was a tyrant to you this person is not a good person so i don't feel bad for them okay we also have imprisonment out here tap the screen for me y'all we also have imprisonment out here okay this person is going to jail and i'm getting spiritual jail they want a spiritual court for doing you like this okay they could be going to physical jail doing some sort of fraud or some sort of crime you know that's what they doing out here i'm also i've been hearing hearing lately a fucking ppp loans somebody somebody going to jail for ppp loans or they get investigated they don't got no friends only person they got is this little rat in the corner. <laughs> uh, but you know what? The the reason they got this rat is because they is a rat. They is a rat, right? Mm -hmm. They is a rat. Shysty. Underhands it. Sneaking around, stealing people's energy and shit. When they not looking. Moving fast. Trying to be undetected. Thank you for liking the live. Tap the screen for me, y'all, please. <sighs> this person having nightmares, okay? All right. This person, listen, Gemini, this person didn't know who you was in the spirit. They didn't know who they was fucking with. You came out here earlier in the Empress energy, okay? So you, you, you a big dog, a big dog in the spiritual realm, all right? Um, they ain't noticed and at the time you ain't noticed you didn't know who you was okay when you was with them and they did you dirty okay now they suffering they in darkness or they will be okay because they crossed you all right you the type of person that if somebody crosses you like they get dealt with quick fast and in a hurry and if it's not quick fast in a hurry the spirits won't sit on it so that when they time do come and and the karma is insurmountable oh they're gonna feel that shit they're gonna feel that shit it's gonna hit them like a ton of bricks like boom like get on their head and they're gonna feel like they're 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 being possessed by demons they're gonna feel like why is my life oh my god they're gonna feel like their whole life is crumbling they're gonna be suffering in the spirit they're gonna fucking be having nightmares about everything that they did so you're gonna be having nightmares about these demons haunting them okay their minds playing tricks on them okay that's because they did this to you let's pay back there's a main, there's a main, there's a main male here 
and I think honestly this is this person that they're dealing with and then we got fury representing this car this main male is a fucking dickhead all right <laughs> look at him he's a clown we talked about him earlier this person that they're dealing with is not a nice person he's a tyrant he treated he treat them bad he treat them bad <laughs> girl he treat them bad he's mad he's mad he's a mad man okay so like i said they're being treated like how they treated you or they will be or they will be but yeah gemini this person's dealing with some with an angry mofo that that don't got their best heart best best um best interests at heart <clears throat> This person is also in bad health. All right. So they could be suffering from so, so, some sort of mental break. All right. Some sort of mental break. Because we had, um, yeah, we had uh, Dark Knight of the Soul out here earlier. So this person could be suffering from some sort of mental break where they're experiencing, like, like I said, the reason they're feeling it, this is this is too. Why I feel like they're feeling like they're in this nightmare energy, and they're seeing things, and they're hearing things, and they're feeling things, because they are experiencing mental health issues. Okay, or they need to heal their mental health issues because the, what I'm getting from this is this person's a fucking crazy person. Like they do shit and they try to get away from, get away with it but also they be thinking people doing stuff against them it's like the stuff they do don't make no sense okay yeah there's something binding this person's mind okay and like i said this could be mental health issues but this person's mind is being binded by uh, a spirit in my opinion some sort of spirits that they was working with okay you know a lot of people can get hijacked by spirits and this person was hijacked this person got body snatched okay this person got body snatched they got body snatched by evil spirits that's why they were so such an evil spirit to you i don't know when this happened this could have happened when he was a child and they've been operating with this spirit inside of them this whole time they're possessed I'm also getting that this person is not who you thought they was. Like, you knew that, but <clears throat> they're 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 possessed. Something wrong with them. This mental health issue is deeper than like mental health. It's spiritual health. Hey, Cecilia. Hi. Yeah, he was always thinking someone was after him and his job. Yeah, this person's crazy. Because they got a spirit on them. That's what it is. They got a spirit on them. They be making up shit in their head. They be thinking shit is real and it's not real. And they be playing out certain things that 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 they shouldn't be doing. All because they thought that somebody was talking about them. All because they thought that somebody was following them. All because they thought. Like, it's, it's just like they got this shit in their head that be telling them shit about people that's not true. And they be acting on it. And then you be like, well, hold on, fuck. This person got two personalities. They are double-minded. <coughs> and it's because their fucking energy is binded up. By some sort of demonic spirit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, this commitment is binded. This, is, this relationship what they have with this karmic person is is binded up. They could have done some sort of love magic. This person that they're with now. <coughs> That's what I'm getting. They did some sort of love spell with this person. <coughs> I'm getting a person that try to use their hair in some sort of jar or some sort of some sort of like water, a jar with water. Putting their hair in there, shaking it around with some glitter. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so that's what they was doing. They were shaking somebody hair around. They was doing some sort of love spell magic on this person that they with now. Or this person that they just left them. They were trying to bind themselves to this person because they felt like this person was slipping away from them. Like I said, this person that they're dealing with is a tyrant. It's worse than them. Like, <clears throat> And if they're not dealing with this person now, they're going to be dealing with somebody that is worse than them. That's how they get in their karma. They get in their karma through a person that they're going to think is trustworthy. Or that they did think was trustworthy. They're like this main male that was out here early that's angry. <clears throat> but because um, they got with this person and they thought that this was this person, they started realizing that this person didn't like them as much as they liked them. All right? And so they decided, oh, you know what? Let me, let me go do some spell work. Let me go do some... Um, love magic make this a little stronger make them desire me maybe maybe they make them stay with me but it backfired on them that's why they in bad health okay it backfired on them the reason it backfired on them is because they wasn't supposed to be doing this anyway they were supposed to be catching karma these spirits that they was working with that was inside their body that was making them act stupid it's not it's not working with them no more <clears throat> So, the only thing they're doing is causing disturbia. Their mind is fucked up. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not working. The only thing that's working is these, these shits is haunting them now. Okay? So, anyways, Gemini, you have a great fortune on the arise. Okay? Everything is working out in your favor. Hmm. What can I say? You just blessed and highly favored at this time. All right? You've been persevering, trying to do things very, very different, trying to move different. And it's been paying off, honey. All right. But it's also telling you to persevere against any adversity that this person may be trying to maybe trying to send your way. OK, so cleanse, be aware of your surroundings, you know, make your energetic boundaries. Do what you got to do. <laughs> We also have gift out here. All right? The spirit is trying to deliver a gift to you. Something that's owed to you. Something that this person try to stop you from having. <clears throat> but we got this accident out here. You're welcome, Myra. We got this accident out here. So this could be they're trying to cause you an accident. Danger. Injury. Yeah, just be safe out there. Be safe out there because this person they could be trying to cause you some sort of like delay in your in your health okay again i said earlier if you were doing like some sort of entrepreneurship or you work or something like that they're trying to make it so that you don't you miss days out on work or you you miss <clears throat> or you miss things that you that's gonna make you money all right that's how bad they could be sending you to evil wow or talking about you or doing whatever or thinking about you and wishing you bad. <clears throat> they want you to get in some sort of accident so you don't receive this gift. Okay? That's what they want. All right? <clears throat> but because they want this for you, it's probably going to happen to their stupid ass. They also, we also got poverty. Oh, you got a settlement coming from a car accident. Okay, period. And look, see, great fortune came out before that. Okay. And then we got person, we got accident and we got great, we got gifts. So you, you finna be blessed. The settlement is coming through. All right. <clears throat> this person who tries to cause you poverty is in poverty now themselves. Okay, they outside. They don't know what they're going to do. Okay. Also, too, this person could be suffering from some sort of drug addiction. Or behind the scenes, this person could be doing drugs. Okay? Like, to deal with their problems, to deal with their mental health issues. So, I'm getting that this person could be overusing, like, shrooms. Or using, like, ketamine. Or some sort of, like, you know hallucinogenic even cocaine they could be on that power yeah mm -hmm. 
I see some powder. It's not Laura Mercier. It, 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 it could be something else. Yeah, this uh, this this person is suffering from some sort of withdrawal. And the reason they're doing this is because their life is falling to pieces. Their life is in shambles. Okay. In shambles, baby. This person that they was with stole everything from them. They stole their energy. They stole their house. They stole everything from them. But they gave it away because they, they thought they was in love. And not only that, this love spell that they did against this person backfired. Why would you do that? This person don't want you. <laughs> now it backfired against you. Now they bind it up. They fucked up now. They should never did this shit. But anyways, it could be on some sort of drugs. They could be even addicted to weed. The weed is fucking with their head. Alright? But the reason they're doing this is because they cannot face themselves. They can't look at themselves in the mirror. They just hate the way they look. They hate the way they feel. They hate their life. They hate... The stuff that they've been through, they just don't want to heal. That's why they ended up treating everybody bad. They don't want to heal. They're they're just a, a little punk. They rather project their insecurities onto other people than to heal. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They better stop doing this fucking drugs though. Or else they're going to end up in a coffin. <laughs> okay. They better stop. Better stop using your drugs to heal. I mean, to um to, to get away from your problems. Run away from your issues. This person's doing everything. And then also, drugs don't have to be like actual drugs. Close drugs. It don't got to be that. It could be, it could be something that they're addicted to. Like they're addicted to sex. They're addicted to pain they're addicted to cutting themselves they're addicted to whatever but they're addicted to something and that that thing is is literally <clears throat> like haunting them and this addiction is causing them to um like be less of themselves i mean not that they was ever whole in the first place they got issues they got mental issues they got issues they never healed from their past They never healed from their past. They never did none of that. <clears throat> but yeah. And then we got professional here. Okay. So. <clears throat> hmm. This person put something in somebody's food. <laughs> this person put something in somebody's food. I don't know, Gemini. Did this person used to cook for you or something? Or, like, make food for you? Or, you know, bring you food and stuff like that? This person put something in your food. Okay? Because they wanted you to be in a coffin. Yeah. Or they wanted your dreams to be in a coffin. You know? They wanted you to be financially destitute. They wanted you to lose things. That's what all this shit is about, for real. They literally plotted on you. Okay? And also, they put they did something to this person that they're with. Like I said, I seen them putting magic, putting a hair in a jar with, with glitter, shaking it up. And they was putting food, like, like, <laughs> putting... Putting blood, putting blood in a spaghetti. <laughs> That's what they was doing, okay? <laughs> That's what they was doing. They was trying to connect. They was trying to create a connection. Okay. They was trying to bind themselves to this person. Or bind themselves to you. <coughs> Both of y'all. Both of y'all. So you could have felt like, like I said, <laughs> like when you was with this person, like you couldn't leave them. Like, you couldn't leave them. Like, you didn't want to believe that they was a terrible person. Like, even though they were showing you to your face. You could have felt all these things. But it's because they was doing fucking glitter magic. Love spells. And putting fucking binding agents in your food. And praying over your food. And doing all kinds of stuff. To bring death to your light. To death to your whatever 
<clears throat> they was trying to have you in a coffin, girl. Or a guy. Now they feeling it, though, because they fucked up. They going through it. They're in poverty. Their mind is going back. Is 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 out of us is out of whack. They going through it. They also to me too, they're losing their job, they're losing their house, they're losing their home. They just trying to pro project onto you. And the only reason they're doing that now is because they miss you. But the only reason they miss you is not because of love, it's because you're the only person that was there for them for real. You know? So, it's like those people that be going through something bad and then they want to call you. Bro, please. You was not thinking about me until you started having bad luck in your life. Leave me alone. Like, that's what was happening. <clears throat> yeah, this person's out. Alright. Let's see. It's going to be a pretty long reading, Gemini. Can y'all tap the screen for me, please? I'm glad you got a smile on your face, Myra. Yeah, you're going to get this money. Thank you. I'm also getting that this person was a snake. Like they had serpent energy like Megan Thee Stallion. <clears throat> okay. They had serpent energy. They was always doing something sly. They always thought they was sneaky. They always thought they was smarter than everybody else. But they wasn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so for a long time, whenever they were around me and my energy, I would see foxes. Oh, yeah, because they were a snake. They were a conniving snake energy, and they were a fox, a trickster. Okay, and it was pretending to be one way when it was really another. That's why, babes. Okay, so we have Selkie out here. Alright. If you guys don't know what a Selkie is, that is like a, um, a, a underwater dual creature. Alright. Half seal, half woman. Okay. So... Selkies represents freedom and you know Selkies can come to lands and when they come to lands they come to lands as seals but they shed their skin and they're able to walk in their human form and walk amongst the people now the story of the Selkie is that one day when the Selkie was coming back and they was enjoying their time on the land they they went back to the water to go find a seal skin, to go back home to their aquatic world, and they couldn't find a seal skin. And so they got stuck on the lands, and then they had to fall in love with some man, okay? And they fell in love with some man, but they was always sad because this is not where they're, this is not their world, this is not where they're from, you know? So, and they can't go back to the water because they lost their skin. So they had to stay with some man and marry him and depend on them, this man for everything but they longed for their home you know and so one day they never gave up they kept looking for their skin and then one day they found their skin years later after they done had kids and everything and they went back to their home you know and so to me <clears throat> the selkie represents you gemini like finally finding your skin again okay You've never given up. This person tried to try to like infiltrate your identity and try to put um, blindfolds over your eyeballs 
so you wouldn't see that they was trying to steal your energy, that they was trying to hurt your finances, that they was doing all the things in the world to pull the wool over your eyes and get you to not have the things that you were promised by God, all right? <clears throat> but you never gave up, all right? You never gave up. You never you never gave up on, on finding this journey back to self. And right now you found your skin and you're you're feeling free because you're going back to home. You're going back to source. You're going back to your authentic self. All right. Whatever curse this person try to pray over you has been lifted <clears throat> and it's been lifted because you've been doing the work. <clears throat> also, we have hell out here. Acceptance. All right. Now, hell is not a literal hell. Okay. Hell is someone who was a light bearer. Okay. She used to travel between the underworlds and the physical worlds. Okay. Bringing souls back and forth. All right. Now, <clears throat> some people didn't really belong in hell, but you know, they played around with the wrong things and that's where they ended. Now, hell she used to hold the torch and you know help people go back to land to see their families and then go back to the underworld to serve their time all right now i could look at this a couple ways but what i'm seeing is is that you were the light in this person's life and you were supposed to bring awareness to this person's flaws and shadows and they were supposed to learn a lot through you the relationship that you had with this person was supposed to be in an awakening, enlightening one. And this person was supposed to um, take your light as a gift, as a gift to heal themselves, as a gift to aspire to be like, or a as a gift to heal and, and be different, okay? But instead, this person shunned you for this light. This person was jealous of your light. This person cursed you because of your light. This person did all kinds of things to you because of your light. Okay, when really they should have been learning from you. They should have been learning to heal from you. You guys should have been learning from each other. But this person wanted to be a hater ass bitch. Right? Or a hating ass whatever. But, you know, they shitted on you for no reason. Okay? <clears throat> then we have Lemur out here representing loneliness so this person is lonely they have no one okay they have no one around i said that in the beginning of the reading they got no one it's no one to run to it's no one to turn to this the dark spirits turn their back on them their friends turn their back on them their boyfriend their girlfriend turn their back on them everybody turn their back on them because everybody realized what a shitty, shiesty person they was. And now they got nobody. They only got they only got their thoughts in a pack of bubble gum and a mirror to look in and see how shitty they act and look. And that's why nobody wanna be around them. So that's why they feeling lonely at this time. <clears throat> also got vampire at the bottom of the deck okay this person was a vampire energy they used everything that they could to steal from other people they had no life force energy of their own this person could have been a person that had like a clique of friends like a clique of people around them like this person could have been like everybody's friend and you know how they be like oh a friends a friend to everyone is a friend to none that's what this person wants they just kept a bunch of people around so they could steal their energy because they didn't have no life force energy of their own yeah. Mm hmm. <coughs> What's up, silent creeper? Tap the screen for me, y'all.
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so this person was probably doing sex magic against this person that they were with. Well, this person's partner was doing sex magic against them. Okay. Or dream magic. So if you've been having dreams about this person, it's because this person is like trying to access your energy through the dream state. Okay. So again, clear your energy. Okay. Then we have triumph of lies. Okay. This person was lying about everything. Lying about their life. Lying about what they do. Lying about everything. But also, I'm getting that this is the person that they're dealing with. This karmic individual that they're dealing with is lying about a, a second life that they are having. Okay. This person that they done fell in love with is a pathological liar. Okay. Gave them a run for their money, child. They lied about who they was. They lied about how much money they had. They lied about everything. And this person fell for it. Your ex fell for it. And now they sitting here looking stupid. Then we got today for tomorrow. This person trying to become you. Trying to be twins. Twinsies. Twin and them. Like, no. This person trying to become you. Like, they could have started acting like you. Talking like you. Dressing like you. Wanting to borrow your clothes and deal, do shit like that. But not only that, this person wants your life. Like, they want your, they want your life. They want your life. They want... They want your essence. They want... What, a lot of times people aren't jealous of the stuff that you have, that you have, but they're jealous of who you are, and they're jealous of how people respond to you. And so you, you got people who, who literally have more physical, material things than you, but they're still jealous of you because of how people perceive you and how people flock to you and how people want to talk to you and how you get opportunities. and You know what I mean? So this person's just jealous. They want to be you. Okay? They don't want you to be you. That's why they did all this shit in the first place. <clears throat> Listen. Okay? Then I talked about earlier that this person was looking in the, looking in the mirror because there's no one else around for them to project upon. So... They can lie about who they truly are, what their soul really looks like. Remember when I said that? They was looking like Dorian Gray. Now that nobody else is around, they in the mirror talking about, is this me? Yes, that's you. You look bad. You look terrible. You look terrible. You look like you look like everything you did to, to everybody. That's what you look like. You look like everything you did to people. <laughs> this person is... Not having a good time, Gemini. And then here you are in this energy. Talking about you the child you was meant to be. You've been healing your inner child. You've been doing all the work. You know? You've been growing plants. You could be a... a, a um, you could have uh, some sort of uh, nursery for plants. Or you could be growing plants. Or, like I said, you're very fertile at this time. Like, you're growing things. Like, things are growing in your life in the most positive way. Okay? Now, this is this person. is a bride in a cage. I guess he or she thought they was going to marry this person that they're with. And they're not going to marry this person. This person is gone. They thought they was going to marry this person. They thought they was going to be with them. They thought that this was a forever person. But they turned out to be a bride in a cage because this person sucked every every living part of them out. Just like they try to do to you. So now they're a skeleton bride. <laughs> with nothing left. <laughs> What's up, Alchemy? With nothing left. This person gave them a run for their money. Act like they wanted them. You know? And now they sitting here looking at skin and bones. Looking like everything they did to you. <laughs> I'm done. I'm actually done. <clears throat> <Did> I, <laughs> this person is crazy. Well, 
Carmen unreeled its, ear, its, its, its ugly head. And now, Gemini, this person that you left is suffering. And that's just what it is. Okay? So, let me get some advice for you, Gemini, before we go. <clears throat> I'll give you one piece of advice because this has been a long lengthy reading as it is gratitude for the love <clears throat> okay what advice can we give for Gemini oh there we go okay I'm going to read it from the book, Gemini 40. <clears throat> okay, so Gemini, here's your first, well, here's your piece of advice. All right, it says follow the leader. Let me show you the card. Okay. Follow the lead, follow the, blah, blah, blah. what the fuck? Follow the leader. Every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example for those around you. Okay? You are being called to lead others by example. Your wisdom has been earned as a result of your bravery in the adventure of your life. The experiences of battles won and lost, places discovered, tears shed, and joy revealed, have placed you in a unique position to be of service to others. Your suffering has been crystallized, okay, into a talisman of wisdom. Now you must share it by being fully authentic. You'll lead others into the light. You'll be required to divulge some things about your past. Go where you love because you may help someone. Lead with love. There is another message here as well. Look to those who have great character and accomplishments that you admire. Emulate the leaders you respect. You will then in turn have more to offer okay <clears throat> what <laughs> what are you saying Brooklyn Okay, so Gemini, that was your piece of advice. Basically, the spirit is telling you to that you've accomplished so much, that there's a project that you need to deliver. There's, the world needs to hear you. The world needs to see you. The world needs to learn from your experiences. And you didn't go through this situation for no reason, okay? Um, you went through this situation for your soul's evolution. Oh, it's a meme from a <laughs> I'm done. The... You, you went through this situation for your soul's evolution, okay? This karmic individual that you were with in the past that is no longer a part of your future, that is now getting the karma that they so rightfully deserve, the reason you went through that is because that was a catalyst moment. This was supposed to catapult you into this phase in which you're in now where you're receiving everything that you deserve, all right? So... Although karma is happening, you're on the other side of it, and that's a beautiful thing, okay? So, stay strong. Do the things. Be the girl. Be the guy. Be him and be her. And do what you need to do. And don't worry about these motherfucking people from the past, because at the end of the day, they didn't deserve you anyway. Cleanse your energy faithfully. Okay, because this person is trying to cause disturbances with a weird ass. Okay. Do what you need to do. <clears throat> okay. That's what I got for you, Gemini. I'm going to go ahead and do my intro. So, y'all... I'm going to just act like y'all not here for a second. Because I need to post this somewhere. <clears throat> and I need my intro in the beginning of this Gemini reading. So if you guys don't know, my readings go up on YouTube every day. Alright? Around 3 p.m. 
Eastern Standard Time. And you can catch me over there as well. <clears throat> What's up, guys? My name is Nibira Bomani, and this is the Prophetess, okay? Um, this is Tarot Redefined by Human Design. And if you don't know what human design is, I suggest you go take a look on Google, okay? If you are returning, welcome back. If you've been here before, I mean, hey, it's good to see you, okay? If you're new, welcome for coming. You know, everybody is accepted here. Um, please take Tarot and watch it responsibly, okay? I am not God. The cards are not God, okay? Use your discernment. Any messages you get, please discern and, and, and talk to source and see if it's right for you, okay? Um, what else I got for you? Anything you need to know about me is in the description box below, okay? So everything, I do personal readings as well. And um, we're gonna get into this reading, Gemini, okay? So what y'all got from the reading? Was it helpful at all to y'all? Any messages in there for y'all? I'm about to do Aquarius. Because <clears throat> I have a client at 9 o'clock. So I think I can knock Aquarius out in like 30 minutes. Or 40 minutes. Aquari Aquarius usually be straight to the point. Oh, you know what? I might do Aquarius on YouTube. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go live over there. If you guys want to watch the Aquarius reading, I will be on YouTube recording that, okay? I will go live on YouTube in a few minutes. But I appreciate y'all. Gratitude for coming in. Um, if you want to know anything about me, it's in the link in my bio. I'm a spiritual life coach i also am a psychic medium so i see in here in the spirit okay if you're trying to talk to a loved one on the other side i talk to i talk to your ancestors too okay just gotta contact me i also have a seven books i'm a seven time published author so i have books on healing self-love self-development shadow work daddy issues you fucking name it you can find all my shit on amazon and what else I got for you oh and I'm also a human design guru so I do human design on a daily basis I incorporate that into my business as well so if you're into human design you want to know what's going on with your chart you want to find your soul's purpose hit me up all right everything you need to know is in the bio like I said I love you peace